Okay, so this video is a continuation from the previous video. I'll leave a, a link in the description and also there'll be a, a link showing now for you to click on if you haven't watched it already and you want to see how we got uh, this far. Other than that, uh, we're going to uh, continue creating the next section. The images I'm leaving for now, I'm going to leave as a final task. Um, yeah, so this is the the, the second section and this is the source where we're, we're getting it from and uh, I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick it up at nice page um, so we're looking at it responsive at the moment we don't want that we want it web so the next section that we're going to be doing is uh, this one here okay where it says we are always beginner friendly and this is the only section we're going to be doing in this this one video so uh, without further ado uh, let's begin so as per normal, uh, let's just um, oh, uh, just uh, first complete it. I always like to just to commit everything always. So. This is then the first section, second section, third section. So we want section four. Like I said, I wouldn't normally put all of these in their own CSS file, but just because I want to be able to have clarity of what uh, happened in each step and so on, I am doing it. I would put them all in their own file at the end. So, so now we've got section three. So let's. Go ahead and make section four here, and we can see already that we want to have uh, three columns that are approximately equal. So we'll have section three. So we want this, this, and this. Three column one, column two. So we have three three columns here. Let's just fix that. That's good. So let's have them by section four. We want to start off by saying display flex. Flex direction is going to be row. Justify content because row is from left to right. It means justify content is going to be flex start, flex end, depending on where the position is going to be. And we're going to say flex start. Align items is then a vertical, and we want it to be stretch uh, height. We're going to say is then. Um, let's have a look. That's nearly. I'd say that's like eighty percent of the view heights. So we'll say eighty percent view heights. Uh, we're not going to give a background, so I'm just going to continue. And, uh, oh, and then width is going to be 1200 pixels, which is what we had in the other um, sections because we don't want it complete size, we just want it 1200 pixels. And margin uh, top, we'll say 40, and we're auto and down, we'll put no pixels. And that's it. Okay, let's have some faith in what we write, and we'll say then column one, and this is then going to be display flex two, and we'll look at the content. It's just going to be a picture, so it doesn't even need to be display flex. And this is then column three, is going to be display flex, and this is going to be then display flex, and it's going to be flex direction is going to be column, and uh, the Justify content is going to be flex start, align items, because uh, it's column, we want to know that they are, I mean, if it's top to bottom, then justify content is going to be center, center, and this is going to be flex start, uh, color is going to be white, and uh, text align is going to be left, yeah, that looks good. That'd be fine. And we'll just do background color for the time being can be violet. And the left one, we can get the we can get the image for this 
straight away. And it looks like we're going to need to. Don't do that. See what, what this image is, is all about. Obviously, using a background image. There you are. Copy link address. Gotcha. Let's test it. And there we have it. So now we have our background image. Background image is going to be this. Background position is going to be center. Background size is going to be contain. Background repeat, no repeats. And uh, that probably do. And we're going to say flex 3 3 as well. Yes. And this is going to be section 4, section 1. And this is going to be flex 0.332. And actually, the images might be a bit bigger, more than likely. Let's have a look. Let's get this again. Yeah. Let's make that. Let's make it 30. 30. No, no, actually, 33 is fine. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Okay, so now uh, the sense. Oh, wait a minute, we're on the wrong one here. That's better. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, and then column two, let's just copy uh, this one. And uh, flex direction is going to be uh, column once again. Justify contents, uh, because we're going column, justify content wants to be um, fit, um, space evenly. Let's space evenly, and uh, this wants to be then stretch and uh, color, and this can be just another color. Let's have a look at what we've got so far. That's not too bad, possibly a bit too high. Let's Bring the height down. Mm -hmm. Actually, we bring the height up. It was already big how it was. But we want the image not to be contained, we want it to be the cover. That's better. And uh, the image looks, oh, it wasn't really, it was kind of a little bit zoomed in, which is all right. Um, background position center, no repeats. Well, that should be fine. Well, we'll, I want to do. I uh, want to do auto and height say 600. See what that does. No, it doesn't work, will it? How do, what do we do with the other picture? We do it. No repeat contain. Okay. Let's try that one with this one. Um, Contain. Yeah. Let's try it. I've had that already. Maybe the image is just not that big. Seven. Hmm. I'll have I'll have a, a deeper look into this uh, as we go on. 
but otherwise the the two boxes seem to be all right i think i think it could be that the left box needs to be a little bit bigger so let's make this say like 40 and then make this uh, 30 and this thing 30 let's see what that looks like that looks better. ah look the, the image is working now so let's that is 42 and uh, but let's have a look whether that actually ah, that, it did use the full width that's what that's the problem yeah we want actually to have the full 100% view width that would be better so now let's see how this looks that's far better now let's remove this so contain we want now this image can uh, now this image should be able to cover that's better okay now it's too big but means we can reduce it down so say, say 30 uh, 35 we'll say this one's 35 so 70 30 yes it's looking good I like it we could probably just say 32. 32 so 64 means 36 yeah that looks better all right i like that i think the the box two needs to come have a bit of a smaller margin bottom we'll put that to zero and uh now this other box needs its margin top we'll put that to zero and uh yeah i actually like it like that i like it when it's touching to be honest with you and i'm going to leave it like that as well right so that image is done let's give it a margin bottom of 200 just so we've got some space down here that's good stuff all right now let's create this uh, middle box so we've got a column now we can write do and we're going to say one just as it's as it's uh, i will say row one display is equal to flex flex direction is going to be column flex direction is column and justify content looks like it's going to be center flex start sorry line items is going to be flex start two color is going to be white oh no color is going to be black And background uh, color is going to be white. Good stuff. And flex 0.5. And we can copy this. Put this in there. And that has then color white. And let's go to Keynote. Get the color of this. Background color is that there. And uh, should we do? Should we do for now. I need to put the two boxes in first. Let's take that and come in here. stuff that's that's working for me now we want to have this one box so we'll say it's gonna be about 30 percent I'd say of this one box so it's gonna be flex 0 0.0, 0 0.33 and then we're gonna do um, display flex column or column flex direction column and then we're gonna say um, just for content center and then flex start so it sits in the center so let's keep going uh, here is going to be section three row one 
define so display flex flex column justify content we want center and align items flex starts background color is going to be uh, transparent the color is going to be that and uh, we obviously want that background color there Mm -hmm. Three, let's background color of this. So, three, one, let's come and add this to our thing now. Oops. Yeah, let's just have a quick check. Background color white, yeah, I'll be fine because this has another background color. Uh, height, flex, wants to be 3-3. Three, three. Let's see how this works now. Okay, our box is not showing up. Why not? Obviously, because I've done something wrong. That's clear. Ah, uh, width. Uh, align items, and so stretch. It's got no width. Come on, justify content. This should work, yes. But right, we're align items column flex justify content. If we put this to flex start, then that white box will sit at the top. Ah, what am I doing wrong here? Section three, row one. Did I, I must have done this right. Yeah. What am I doing wrong here? Well, I'm going to have a look at what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, so I got it. I was actually looking at the wrong thing. I should have been looking at section four, column three, because we want, we say it's going to be a column. Let's go back. That we want it to be a column, yep, and we want that its contents, because its justified content is stretch, but we want to know that the other direction is also stretch. So align items is stretch, and I had it on flex start, but it's not what we wanted. So here's our, our our column three, which we're saying it's column. The justified content can be center, but we can also say stretch on here because it's not totally important. Uh, no, we do want it center. But this align items is then left to right. This is what needs to be stretched. So that's that's the key part here. And if we refresh it and come down to our um, Section four, column three. Section four, column three. Yep, and then section three, row one. Yes. That's now is display flex, flex and flex starts, and we can get this hundred percent width. And it still works again. Okay, so but this is controlling its its content. So as long as we said flex um, here is for the height. If we said like fifty here, then we get bigger. But we don't want to. All right, so that's that's all working now. It can be that we want it to be a tad bigger. So we could say like four zero. Actually, that was better. Let's have another look. Yeah, I think we could actually probably say four five. Yeah. All right, the top one, top box. It needs to be. There is no line there. That's okay. And at the bottom, there's no line either. So now let's create two um, boxes that sit inside of these. So we're going to say section three, section four, um, column. 
inner. All right, and this is going to be background red for the time being. Uh, and it's going to be flex 0.5. It's going to be the, the, the yeah. And they're going to take a column. So display flex. Flex direction is going to be column. Justify content is going to be flex starts. We can say we can say center actually. Align items is going to be flex starts. The color uh, we don't care about on this, and that should be fine. So this is going to be an inner, and we're talking about. We want the second one. Yeah, column two, row one. Of this. Okay, got one of these, and then we place it here as well to see whether it works. No. What's going on here? Let's have a look. So section four, column two, yeah, and uh, background red. Okay, once again, we need to check this out. So we have the column one, we have display flex, justify content flex start, align items flex start. That's where our problem is. We want to say uh, this wants to be column two, row one. Two, row two. There we go. Now we all we, now we all we need to know is that row one is just by content is center for both of these. Yep. There we go. So now they sit nicely in the center, which is good. Now they both well this top one just has some, some text, so let's create this text right now so let's say here title and we'll say it wants to be color is black font size let's say two ohms at the moment font weights and 500 uh, text Align left. That's good. And I'm going to use a div because I don't want any H1 tags or anything like that. I want my own content as such. Stick that in there. There we go. All right, now we need some form of padding for these here as well. So we'll say margin left 20 pixels margin right Did like about 50 actually probably. That's good. All right, now it's centered its content as well, which is okay. Which means that, yeah, which means we want to make this text even bigger. Three eams, three point five, three point two. Eight, five. Hmm. It's like two is okay. It's a different font though, so let's say two point two. But the text can go pretty pretty far though. So let's let's dump this margin right to say like ten. Yeah, that's better. Two 
2.3, do we go to 2.4, 2.3, 2.3 is fine. And if we go 700, oops. Six hundred. Right. So. Hmm. Let's maybe try one family and. Uh, I don't know how to spell it, but let's leave it. So we want 2.3 title 2.3. Oh no, yeah, what was it? Where one title? Let's give it a refresh. Yeah, it'll do for now. It's not really the font that I wanted, but. It'll do for now. Maybe it's just because the box is too small. What have we got here? We've got actually when we get rid of this. Ah, that's better. Moving further, we can go 3.2. Yeah, that's far better. So let's take this red background away now. It's better. I don't like the font, but it will do. Okay, next thing is ne next thing is this thin box underneath. Okay, so continuing, I've added um, the Oswald Google Fonts. Uh, to, yeah, I actually had 400. Uh, I've tried 600, it was too much. So I've, I've got and added that to the index.html. So we download the uh, Oswald 400 uh, and so on, which makes it, which makes it look uh, a lot better now and uh, matching the others. So we're going to continue uh, with that and I like how the text looks, it looks a little bit better now. I think we could actually, let's do this. We could actually grow that text just that little bit more, uh, which I'm, what I'm gonna do. Uh, so rather than saying 3.2, we'll say 3.5. Yeah, I like that a lot more now. Okay, so let's create this next three columns. Okay, and so it's this this one here, and uh, I'm going to create the classes first. And we'll say title, and then we've got P. We're just going to say, and then we're going to say button, and in here we can say in future run club put that text in here that's good and then join now in here copy text so now we have this information in the correct box which is good so the only thing left to do now is obviously just to give them a bit of extra style let's come down the bottom and uh, font size, we'll say uh, 2.0 eames first. And do we need to do anything else? No, but we'll say, we'll say text transform uppercase anyway. And uh, letter, letter spacing, so two pixels, see how that looks. 
Yeah, looks good. Maybe not how it is in the end. Oh, well, it's not far off. So maybe the, the height is maybe too big, so we'll say maybe 1.8. Oops, wrong one. Yeah, it looks fine. Needs a little bit of margin bottom as well. That's good. Okay, the P now we'll do, we'll just copy this. And we'll leave this at one E and uh, we can get rid of text transform, get to space in. Yep, save that, refresh it. It's looking good that letter spacing will put one pixel. Yep, I kind of like that, but we don't want it bold really, but it's fine. Right, the button next is going to be so border one pixel solid white is what we need. Yes, width is going to be, I say, let's say padding. Like this, text transform uppercase color is equal to white. Let's see what we've got here now. That's all right, but obviously, we need a bit more height so we can add the we want to say like three pixels for this, and generally speaking, we can say 40 pixels padding way too much. 20 is probably even too much, but on the left hand side, we have the text, so we can do letter spacing and the text can be, so like 1.6, letter spacing could be 2, and uh, we'll just put 10 on the top, 20 on the oh, no, we want the other way up, 10, and then 20, 10, 20. Okay, now the text I'd say is too big. Let's do it here. Point three, two, two is fine. I like two. Um, needs a bit of margin top. Let's do. 15 maybe looks good and how's the text so the text this paragraph text wants to have a bit of a margin right Forty. see what it does yeah that's good and uh, let's just take this down to say six it's a bit better does it have any rounded corners? Of course not. So maybe we should take 600 as well. No, nah, it's going to leave it. I don't care. It's fine details, fine details. All right. Now that's our, what right, the button obviously needs cursor pointer on it as well. Happy days. So let's now crack on with this text over the right hand side. And here we need, so subtitle, we're going to call it pre title, title, subtitle. Yes. So, row one, pre title. And we're going to call this title and going to call this subtitle. This one's going to be our mission. 
run every morning. I'm guessing that the text is going to be white in here. Uh, so we're looking for now section four, column three. We don't want white, we want black, I'm assuming. No, we, we've got the wrong background color. Yeah, okay, so that's the box here is now. Section three, row one. It should be section four, row one. Want that I want section four oh one. So section four is better. And this is then transparent. It's better. Yeah. And that should have color transparent. color it's white that's better good so now that we've got our boxes we need some form of padding from the left which that has then 60 padding so start off by doing that that's good now Let's just start by doing these pre-titles and so pre-title and title sub to whoops. That's okay. Right, um, so font size is equal to two ins, first of all. And we'll go from go from there. Right, as we can see, the first and second will probably be okay, probably be too much actually. So they can be like 1.6. And, uh, yeah, and this one, Five. Yeah, what D means? Eames. Ten Eames. Yeah, looks good. Ten Eames. But I'd say that's a different. It's a lot fatter. Let's get super fat. Which let's have a look at what font they use for that. Does that make any difference? Okay, so nine, you want like this should be like nine point five or something. So oh, there we go. No, wrong one. I'm gonna take this and put it there. Oh, so we can use it. Good. All right. So that's that's looking good. We can take the font weight down on this one to be lighter. Does that change anything? Yeah. No. No. Okay. But 
kind of a little bit happy with how it's looking. Yeah, we could maybe make pre like eight and this like ten. This one eight as well. Yeah, I like it. And let's put the title, it's gonna have margin bottom 40 pixels, probably too much. Not really. All right, good stuff. So I'm happy with how this is looking. We kind of nearly fulfilled this. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's just supposed to be a working version because you would tweak things anyway. But it's it's a really good start. So, okay, thanks very much for watching. If you've got uh, this far, I do um, I do appreciate it uh, very very much. Uh, there is a very high chance that I will make a third part to this one video doing the next uh, section. It's not very difficult. Um, so, so if there's a, a link displayed above you right now, then you'll know that I've made it and I've uploaded it. Otherwise, it can be that I just need a little bit more time to create it. Um, thanks very much for watching. You've been uh, watching uh, David's videos. My name's David Thorne, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye then.